guys, we are here at the Welga residence uh, with my good friend Robbie Welga. He is a pro golfer at the Country Club of Orlando. And his wife, Bonnie Welga, is my wife's best friend, so no pressure. Um, so they have their daughter's birthday party coming up in two weeks. And we were talking about the possibility of maybe doing some things to the house in preparation for the big birthday party event. So I was speaking to Robbie and... You know, he was telling me a few things. So I'll let him kind of tell you what he had in mind. And we're going to do some brainstorming, come up, try to see if we can come up with some ideas of what it is that we're going to be doing here in the backyard. And is it realistic to be able to get this done within the next two weeks? So right. let me know what you guys think. Thank you, Alex. Um, well, I'm tired of this yard. I'm tired of the grass. I'm always having sod that that's dying here. Um, I was really seeing if uh, ha how artificial grass would go, um, but I do need to extend out this this patio for these areas that the, the grass is always dead. There's a lot of shade, so we have some beautiful trees here in the backyard. Yep. yep. And because of the trees, you get a lot of shade here as well, so it doesn't let the grass grow as it should right here because of the the roof line and the trees. Right. That we have here. Yeah. So it's always a problem every year, as you can see. Um, about this time of year for her birthday, I always have to resod. So um, just want to see what we can do and what we can kind of come up with of kind of extending this patio out and give us a little sitting area or something. Like that. Okay, yeah, so I see, you know, this was done how long ago? Maybe like two years ago? Uh, yeah, it was about two, three years ago. Probably about three years ago now. Um, My idea here was to have an entertaining space, but when we have the parties, Nobody likes to sit here because the sun hits it all the time. So I have a hard time keeping people in this space. They always kind of tie it away here. So then I have all this space and no use for it. Um, so Didn't work as, as well as we originally thought it was going to. Okay. Well, that's why we're here. Uh, so the, the goal is to be able to create a nice design that not only looks nice, but it's functional. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be something where you guys would be able to use on a daily basis. And then when you guys do have parties and have friends over, uh, inc inc uh, inc inc uh, inc including us, we'll be able to run around. So they have three kids, two dogs, and two bunnies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll replant those roses over there on that side. Um, that'd be great. Yeah. And you'll kind of get rid of this here. Well, one more play area for the kids is better too. Yeah. You can put a TV here on the wall. We'll do a nice pergola, aluminum pergola. And you guys can have some couches and some sofas right here. So you, you're entertaining. You got the TV with maybe some music. Maybe you're watching the PGA Tour or the Super Bowl or whatever game. While you're cooking, you're grilling, maybe a little pizza oven. Um, what do you think? I mean, that sounds amazing. I can't, uh, I can't visualize that. Um, can, can you see it? I mean, I'm a, I'm a visual <laughs> person, but. I have, to, I have to see it. Yeah, so, so most people that we work with uh, on a daily basis, the majority, I would say 90% of them, Every time I start throwing all these ideas at them, they like the ideas, right. but I don't think they fully understand the ideas, right? Mm -hmm. um, my wife is very visual as well. Uh, I can start thinking about, I can visualize what this is going to look like before we're, we're, we do anything. But I guess that's like a special skill that I have, and that's why I do what I do, right? Mm. Um, just like I can't drive 300 yards, <laughs> you know? So... Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together a design. I have a really good architect uh, named Alejandro. He's going to draw something real nice with your survey. Okay. We'll kind of put all this in a 2D plan so you guys will see a layout. And once we have that layout, you guys can kind of visualize it a little better. And you tell me that looks good. We're going to create it into a 3D virtual reality. I'll put on the Oculus headset on you. And then you'll be able to walk around here and see what we're going to do before we do anything. You do it in 3D. I'm going to do it in 3D and VR. Wait, what? So it's a little bit of a step above 3D. Step up. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. I so. think that would help me visualize what, what you're saying there. Because it sounds great. I mean, it sounds like my own little... Sit down? <laughs> 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 it sounds like my own little personal man cave outside. Yeah. That's awesome. 
All right, guys. That so we're great. super excited about this project. We have two weeks to get this done. I'm only going to tell my install team we have one week to get it done, right? To make sure we put that pressure and make sure that it gets done. So stay tuned and uh, we'll see you again for the, for the VR. Hey guys, so Alejandro finished the design and I have it uploaded here onto the Oculus. I already set the parameters and I'm super excited to show them how everything came out. It looks so sick. Um, so they're gonna come outside now. I'm gonna put it on and let's see what they say. Guys, I already uploaded everything. It's ready for you guys to see the design. Okay. I want Robbie to see it first. You guys, you give me some of your feedback and then okay. I want you to see it. And if there's something you think that we need to change, well, we can change it. If you love it, be like, hey, everything's good. Then let me know. Okay. All right. I had to see it first. Yep. Mm. Let's see. Wow. <laughs> what? Babe, look at the pergola. Oh, you can't see it. <laughs> There's a pergola right here. Wow. The patio looks so much bigger. There's so much more room for the kids to play. Yeah, so what we did, you know, by getting rid of this bench here, you have so much more flat area. And then, you know, it's going to be, this is already a big backyard. It's it going to be even more open now. That's amazing. Wow. Is that going to be your little man cave over there? It is. Or is it going to be her reading nook? No. Let's see. No. I mean, what do you guys think? Is it going to be the man cave or the reading nook? Man I think cave. I know, but man you guys tell me. Let me see. Let me see my turn. My turn. Oh. My turn. My turn. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Wow. How do I adjust this thing? Yeah. Just keep right here? Yep. Yep. There you go. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at this. What do you think? Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, that's, what do you mean? I could totally read my book there. I see my roses on the side. Oh, this looks so good. So we did it with the playground here. You know how it's nice how and much, straight here? They got We so put out an more. angle so that way the kids have more space. There's so much space now for them. Wow. No, oh, this is great. This looks so good. This is amazing. Is there anything you want to change or is everything? Uh, no, I don't want to change anything. Can you, can you do it? You got a well, timeline. I got a, I got a timeline. <laughs> so I hate to be rude, but I got to go. Okay. I got to go to <laughs> the office. You got work to do. <laughs> I got to order the pavers, fill out all the permit applications, uh, submit the HOA application, get everything submitted so that way we can get it expedited and make this happen. I'm going to tell my guys they only have one week to get it done. Let's see. All right. If not, it's at your house. Thank Let's you, do Alex. It. I'm <laughs> moving the party to your house. <laughs> All right, guys. So stay tuned for the time lapse and to see the progress and the final result. Sounds right. Sounds right. We did it! <laughs> Yay! Just like I told you guys, we got it done just in time. We had the guys here working this morning. Party started at one. They were they here until like 11, 30, yeah. 12. Yeah. Close. Uh, so we cut it close, but we got it done. And that's the most important part. I get goosebumps just thinking about Thank you. what an awesome uh, project this so was. Yeah. So <laughs> Thank you, bud. We did it! So as a consultant, I was able to give some really good recommendations to, with very small changes to transform this backyard. They were not able to really use this backyard because that seating area was right here in the middle. And as you can see, it is blasted by sun in the afternoons. So they had no real shaded coverage area where they can entertain. Now with the pergola, not only do they have a shaded cover area, but it's a separate space that was a dead zone full of dirt, all that area there. You can see in the pictures before. Now their patio is larger. Their kids have more space to play with. 
they still have their little sanctuary there, which is uh, the husband left to watch his uh, New York Yankees games and all of his uh, football games right there. And um, one small tweak that we did was the playground was horizontal this way. I had them turn it so that way she can be inside the house and still be able to watch the kids. So those are small little details, but it's all about being a professional and being a consultant and giving the best recommendations to maximize your outdoor living space. So stay tuned for part two of this project where we're gonna be doing the artificial grass here around the whole backyard. And we're gonna do a really sick putting green. The homeowner is a professional golf player. She's a PGA member. So uh, we're gonna do something really, really nice here on this backyard. So stay tuned and thank you for watching the videos. God bless.